took just 32 minutes. It was at the Malaysian Open in January, round of 32, in straight games. Here are the Dutch. Yeah, I was there on that occasion. I think I might have commentated that one, Trevor. And that 32 minutes um, fact is quite impressive because that was a slow arena at the Axiata in Malaysia. From Indonesia. Again, Fernanda Saya, Gloria Emanuel Vijaya. Every time I've seen this pair, which Arjo in particular was really impressed with, her net play and her anticipation. Really, really good. Somewhat surprised, actually. They're not ranked a bit higher than 19. They've been up at 14 earlier this year. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're entering the big tournaments. They're just not getting the results lately, and I don't know if there are issues that I'm unaware of. Oh, she's walking to the wrong court. <laughs> Number one, Gloria. Number one. Clues on the umpire's chair. There you go. They've got that similar style. We saw um, Terry and uh, Terry here and Jessica Tan earlier, and these two have a very similar style too. Yeah, I think similar outset really to the way they play. But there's that match we were talking about. 16 and 14 straight games in Malaysia. Okay, the red is for you. That is black. Yeah, well. we'll take that side. Take that side. You will serve or receive? Yeah, yes. What do I serve? Who will receive? Okay. Okay. So this could be an absolutely fascinating mixed doubles because the brevity of that previous meeting, somewhat surprising when you look at the uh, rankings for these two pairs. Nine in the world, they were ranked eight, it was just literally last month. We were at the Olympics. They won the gold medal, these two, at the European Games in June. Now you can say, OK, it's not as high a standard as a, a regular World Tour event, but you can only beat the pairs that turn up won a European Championship bronze last year. Actually, uh, Peak has been national mixed doubles champion with three different partners. Got a bye in the first round. And on the other side of the net, we can have a look at the two Indonesian players. Ferdinandia is uh, 22 now. They got to the last four of the Malaysian Open this year, quarter-final of the Thai Masters, but they've had quite a few early exits since then. We won four events last year. Biggest was the Vietnam Open and Super 100. It did win bronze at the Asian Championships this year. And that's their first round result. Very straightforward against Kaneko and Matsutomo in just 35 minutes on court. And what a Saluznoi of Estonia is the umpire for this one. And uh, there's Edgy Nonaguchi in the umpires, in the service judges chair. Ready to play.
Stand by then for the umpire introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Dejan Ferdinandia and Gloria Emanuel Vijaya, Indonesia. And on my left, Robin Dabeling and Selina Peak, Netherlands. Gloria Emanuel Vijaya to serve to Robin Tabeling. Lobo, play. Great covering by Ferdinandia. And he didn't quite make it. Service over, one love. Selena Peak's one of Europe's finest, she really is. I think she's won the Mixed Doubles National Championship in Holland for uh, 11 straight years. She's taken women's doubles gold in the event years gone by, European medalist in different events for at least six times. That European Championship served uh, most recently. They beat um, Christiansen and Boyer in the semi-finals and beat uh, Gigel and Del Rio de France in the final. I mean, that, that's some going. Service over. One, three. No, it's, I mean, it's not easy to win. But obviously, when you take the, the Chinese, the Japanese and yeah. you know, the rest out, but still, yeah, very creditable performance and a, an authority deserved title. Clumsy that one. Two, three. She saw this coming before she even moved. And I think she was so keen to hit the winner. She went a bit early. So four points in a row for the Indonesians. Thanks to that little net cord. Five, three. That's what you were saying, Trevor. Exactly that. Which yeah. I at. brilliant at the net. And this is brave. through the legs from uh, tabling. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a great punch clear. But again, it was the net play from which I that gave them the initiative in the point in the first place. <laughs> Despite the uh, yeah, flamboyance. Excellent unorthodoxy from uh, Robin Tabling. Over seven four. Yeah, 
Well, they've won seven of the last eight points now. The Indonesians. Service over. Five, seven. Service over, eight, five. Just snatched at that infraction, didn't she, I yeah, thought? Yeah, but it's it's the return of serve from Ajaya, the quality. As soon as that shuttle is going over the net, it's then going down. Dipping, yeah. And that's that's the, that's the just brilliant. Yeah, very little that Pete could do, to be honest with it. That's a nice shot from Tabling. Service over, six, eight. Nine, six. That's a big hit, isn't it? How tall is she, Trevor? You, uh, I think you mentioned it earlier. She's six foot, which I... Wow. Service over, seven, nine. An inch taller than a partner. A few inches uh, taller than you and I as well. The bar's not very high there, is it? <laughs> nice. Sorry, over. He's a strong lad. Ten, they just look seven. a really organised pair, don't they, these two? They make it look easy. Their instincts. We call it instincts. It's so well honed, perhaps. The shot choice at what situation? It's very, um, very organised. Wajaya again, 11 points to seven. In charge at the moment, the Indonesians at the break. Um, for me, we go sometimes a little bit more hard and flat. And that worked in the first place, because we could put the hook on the hook. En daarna gaan zij hem ons een beetje sturen. Dus kijk, als ja, zij zelf... Geen situatie. Ja. Daar komen we gewoon niet goed uit, waardoor zij beginnen met hard. Ja. Um, let wel op dat uh, de laatste keer als zij op jouw smash terecht door, zij gaat die kostbal recht door. Ja. Dus we kunnen soms gewoon rustig het veld recht door ja. induwen. Komt hij met snelheid recht door, kijk, we moeten gewoon recht op de service line goed neerleggen. Zodat we de setup voor onszelf krijgen. Ja. Zijn er nog van te fouten? Ja, ook, ook. En zij hebben een paar keer, ja, een paar keer geluk. Blijf wel durven van net, hè. Ze raakt een paar keer in het band. Maar ja, ja, het is wat is. Uh, let, let op de flix, hè. Ja. En als hij retourneert, anticipeer mentaal die backhand. Eleven, seven, play. Well, they're feeling some pressure here, this uh, Dutch pair. Hard to find an answer, especially when Majaya's hitting shots like that. 13, seven. She just seems to me to be ultra consistent. No obvious weaknesses, and she's got touch and power. And she's so good at reading her opponent's intentions. Sorry, sorry. Not even she could do anything with that. 13. Nine, 
Fine Sardine. Service over, 14-9. Service over, 10, 14. Gak usah mundur, jadi gak enak. Too good again. It's a bit of a recurring theme. In this first game, and she seemed to know exactly what Peak was going to do. Okay, a little bit of good luck off the net. But the lead they have is not down to good fortune. Sixteen ten. Oh, he's missed it. <laughs> he can't believe it himself. Looked like it was just a gimme. Look how close he was to the net here when he's missed this. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, that's the equivalent of what? Goal for missing a one open foot goal. Putt. One foot putt. Yeah. Just beyond the line, much to the disgust of Tabling and Peak. Well left, actually. This is superb. 18, what great defence. She's so tall, that's really hard to get down low and play that from a crouch position. Not just one, but twice. That shot was brilliant. Out. You do think so when you watch them play like this, Bobby, they should... You know, it feels like they ought to be higher than 19. There's a challenge here. Yeah, you do. It's a, it's a, it's a surprise. Oh, I can see them top 10. Inconsistent performances. Short. Challenge unsuccessful. But they're capable of um, great things. That last meeting you mentioned, I remember back in the Axiata Sorry, in January at the Malaysia Both. Open. They then went on to beat Tang and Say of Hong Kong, the number Play. five seeds. They beat Kim Won Ho, who for me at the beginning of the year was the best player in the world. Um, and they had a pretty good performance against Zhang Siwei and Huang Achong in the final. Uh, the semi-final, rather. 13, um, that's a great week for, for the Indonesians. I'm just not sure why they can't do it more often. Yeah. Out. Service over. Well, they're looking very good in this opening game. Just a couple of points away from securing it. Oh, 
what a smash. Six Nothing seven, left to lose. Four, Going three, for the winners. 19. I almost didn't see where this went, it was hit so hard. So that error gives the Indonesian six game points. Just needed the one. So 21 points to 14. They've only been on court for a quarter of an hour. And the Indonesians in front, and deservedly so. Open ruimtes midden, midcourt, frontcourt kunnen, kunnen ja, niet dumpen, maar wel gewoon laten dalen. Als ze onder die tape komen. En dan kun jij bovenhands inkomen en dan is dat gevaar van haar minder groot. He, zodra zij zeg maar, hierin komt en, en op die snelle ballen dat kan doen, is, is ze gewoon heel goed momenteel. Ja, dus dat doorpushen is ook een goed idee. Ja, precies. Ik moet eerst even ruimte creëren en dan kan ik ze daar neerleggen. Ja. Ja. En als, als je dus daar meer krijgt, dan gaat zij misschien wat meer snelheid geven. Ja, dan kun jij hem weer verplaatsen. En dat moet we alleen eerst wel zien te komen. Ja. 0-0, ja? vol erin. Een uh, ja, paar foutjes minder zou fijn zijn, maar daar doe je niet zoveel aan. Dat gebeurt soms. Ja? Maar service situatie is... Ja. Maar die laatste bal is prima. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Back to the action. Game two after the change of ends. I'll tell you what, that performance from the Indonesians will really keep um, Vita Marisa, their coach, happy. She knows a thing or two about tough matches. World Championship medalist herself, Olympian. Great to have uh, such high quality in the coaching corner. Service over. Two, one. Oh. Nice return of serve. But well, I don't think that the Indonesians' game plan is going to change. So it's a question of whether the Dutch can adapt at all. Just change their own style a little bit. Because at the moment, they're being schooled a little by the uh, Indonesians. Superb again from Ajaya. Just the two. deftest of touches over the net. I broke a fitter. It hit my eye. Some fitter hit my eye. Please check. Well, loud and clear for all to hear. Yeah. Oh! 
four, two. Can we please change? Change. Terrific job of the production, isn't it? The way you can hear everything. Coaches' instructions at the mid-game, the players on court talking. It's as if they're mic'd up. Yeah, absolutely. I've loved that about watching badminton over the years recently. How much more interaction you get with the game. Three, four. Well, it's also fascinating listening to the coaches, isn't it? Well, when I can understand. Well, that, yes, that's <laughs> true. Some way long. Service over. Five, three. Piece of deception from Peak. That is good from Selena Peak. Oh! That's wide, though. Service over. Six, four. Oh. Right shot. It just got a fraction too much angle on it. It's a great start from the Indonesians. Semi-finalists, weren't they, at the uh, Asian Championships this year? Looking at some of their results, how they go from that kind of performance that week to a series of round one defeats at different events. Yeah, they got... Since the All England, four. yeah. Got the bronze medal at the Asian Champs, and... You know, that's a, t that's a tough event. Incredibly tough. They just look a little nonplussed, I think, Tablin and Pete. It look to me as though I don't quite know what they can do to stem the tide at the moment. Oh! It's a clever play from the Indonesians to take Selena Peak out from the net. If they can get her guessing and then put it the other way, Tablin's under loads of pressure and it's not quite at the same level. They need more moments like Five, that. Nine. <laughs> Great defence. Saw how precise he was with it, Tabling. Literally just brushed the tape and fell over. Oh. Oh. But there's no let up. Ten. Five. Back in form, this Indonesian pair. Tabalin looked absolutely distraught, didn't he, when he put that into the net? And that's the problem. Start to get weighed down by the fact you're being outplayed. Probably doesn't help. You start squeezing tighter. Playing with less freedom, a bit too tense. Oh, it's in. Service over. 
six, ten. Maybe the, there were some problems for the Indonesians we, we are aware of, uh, because it is strange looking at their results. They went from the middle of 2022 through to February 23. The worst performance they had was a quarter-final. Yeah. The worst they yeah. had. Yeah. 11, 6, interval. And the Munchachu, 11, 6 up, and a game up. And it's looking very worrying from a Dutch point of view. OK. 11, 6, next to Vliezen. Punt for punt, erin vechten. Maakt het vuil groot. We moeten af en toe iets meer over die voorhand kant en die backhand kant. Of het, dat, dat vliegt er snel uit. En voor de aanval, hou je geduld. Of Speert gaat sneller dalen hier in deze hal. Die full smash, als ze klaarstaan, zijn ze gewoon heel goed. Hè? De speelt meer off speed ballen. Ook als die rally vlak wordt, dan moeten we zo snel mogelijk uitkomen. Ja, maar ik ben heel erg fan als Robin A op één zet. Ga maar. Ja, ja, ja. Dan snijd daarvoor. Dat is gewoon dat 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 blijven doen. Snuik in de benen. Seconds. En gewoon vechten. Komt wel. Ik heb goed verwacht dat hij uit elke hoek toch nog maar een haar moet maken. Ja, dat ik heel erg mis zit. Dus ik denk dat ik dit wel weg so the point of no return here for the Dutch pair. We'd love to see them work out a way to hurt the Indonesians, get back in the match and force a, a third game. But it's just very hard to envisage that at the moment. That's nicely done, though. Such a entertaining point. That kind of inspiration required on a regular basis, you feel. Tabling did well there to keep the pressure on himself with his choice of shots. Just when you think they have a glimmer of hope, they kind of snuff it out again. Yeah, that shot's not coming back from many people. The lift was short here, and Fernanda, uh, Ferdinand Shire up early. Big angle too, loads of pace. Oh, that's excellent from Tabling. Service over. 9 12. It was short, but it still had to be dealt with. Brilliant that was from Ferdinand. I just can't understand how they didn't win that point, the Dutch. Yeah, superb in defence once it. And then excellent judgment as well. Because sometimes when you've played a really good shot, the adrenaline is kind of running, but he did well to leave that.
Good defense from Gloria. Whoa! Oh my God. It came off the net cord from Selena Peak, which on any normal day, that's not coming back. How did Wajaya cope with this? Fantastic reactions. That came off the middle of a racket. That wasn't just fortunate. She she moved her racket in time to get that exactly where she wanted it. After it wobbled off the net as well. After Peak's net cord. Yeah. I think as well as Ferdinand's has played, I think Jai has been the star of this, uh, this match. And they're only a few points away from uh, sealing the deal. You so often see that in, in doubles, whether it's level doubles or mixed. If the four-court sort of priority player, the females in this case, have a good game, it makes it so much easier for their male partners. If, if, if the females are struggling, then the male player is so often on the run and has to try and win it on his own almost. So 10, 15. Well, she'll kill those all day. 16, 10. Having said that, Ferdinand, you missed one, didn't he, in the last game? <laughs> didn't uh, come back to bite him. Oh! 17, 10. Hasn't really been a happy man since the almost the first point, Robin Tabley. Service over. Eleven seventeen. Play. Pass the court, please. It's a bit better from Tabling. I mean, if you, if you didn't know, Bobby, if you've watched this match with no knowledge and you were told that one of these pairs was nine in the world, you would assume it was Ferdinandia and Wajaya, wouldn't you? And yeah. not just because of the scoreline, but because of the pattern of play. Yes, it, uh, it's a bit more difficult because I've known and followed oh. them over the years. Selena Peake, for example, she's a... Tremendously accomplished 13, European 17. player. But we've seen um, Ferdinand Sharamajaya perform on the big stage many times and get really far in tournaments. You'd expect them to be the top ten player for sure. Haven't quite got the job done yet, though. But... Uh, as you asked, based on today's performance, I mean, I know 18, 13. there's been a slight comeback here from the Dutch, but with Jaya at the net, so calm, and her partner so athletic and powerful, doesn't seem to miss. You would absolutely assume. Can see the, I mean, you can see the frustration, can't you, there, and with Peak, and we've seen it from Tabling for most of his match, to be honest. Couple, po couple 19, of points more required. 13. Tough opponents waiting for them in the next round. It's going to be Zheng Siwei and Huang Yachong or 
Lamsfries and Lohau, who we watched yesterday, they were on good form, weren't they, against another Dutch pair? That would be a very entertaining spectacle, I think, if it was that. So seven match points. 20 match point 30. For Ferdinandia and Wijaya. For a place in the round of 16. Just reached the shuttle there, Wijaya. Oh! Game. Well, that's a superb performance. It's only taken 35 minutes. And when you consider that Tabling and Peak are ranked inside the world's top 10, that really was an excellent exhibition from the two Indonesians. I well, we look pretty pleased about it, and so they should be. Match won by Dejan. And I don't imagine and that any of the... Uh, Either of the two higher ranked 13. pairs that they could meet in the next round particularly relish to prosper. I think there are probably easier pairs floating around, but they are definitely dangerous. It's good to see them back to uh, where they belong, really. And I'm not talking about at the World Championships necessarily, but the, the performance level of where they belong is, is here. So 21 14, 21 13, 35 minutes, the official match time. So we've had four doubles matches, I think, in a row. And we're going to throw it back to singles when we come back. Home crowd will be behind Lena Christofferson against the uh, big outsider from Peru, Ines Castillo-Salazar. That's in a moment. Well, a warm welcome back to Copenhagen. Sometimes referred to as the City of Spires. It's got a horizontal skyline, pretty much, and only the old spire and tower of its churches and castles break it up. 